Shirley High School is one of several schools across the Bluff City wanting to join Memphis Shelby County Schools. Since 2014, it's been operated by Green Dot Public Schools. That's a nonprofit charter organization uh, that works to transform underperforming schools. Action News 5, Sydney Gray reports school leaders now hope to build a local partnership with MSCS, but they're facing a few hurdles. Our initial recommendation is to deny the application for Fairley High School as it did not meet or exceed all portions of the application rubric. It was not the answer Fairley High School leaders were hoping for at Tuesday's school board meeting. We were disappointed in how politics played out um, in front of our students and families. The board considered 10 charter school applications, all 10 denied. Our community members, students, staff, uh, local business leaders, they were devastated. The school is operated by the nonprofit Green Dot Public Schools and reports to the state run achievement school district. But school leaders say they now want a local partnership with MSCS. They also say the schools significantly improved over the past decade. Green Dot took a chance on Fairly and it was successful, giving more opportunities to kids who need a chance to excel in college, leadership and life. And with that, I say, why not Fairly? Why Green Dot? I have witnessed firsthand the transformation of the school from 10 years ago until now. And what stands out most is the Fairly School Pride and a healthy culture to support every need of the students at Fairly. Principal Julius Blackburn says he's determined to show MSCS his school's improvement. If they saw the support and they know that we will be back. So what our organization will do is we will amend and resubmit the application in a timely manner. And we look forward to a positive outcome for our students, families, and alumni. According to Green Dot, the school had an 88% decrease in suspension rates. It also touts more than 200% growth rates in math and ELA on iReady exams. I came in a standard sophomore student, and I am leaving as an honor student with over a 4.0 GPA. The school has 30 days to amend its application so it can attempt reauthorization again. And I'm confident that with the work we're doing here at, um, with Green Dot Public Schools and Fairly High School, and if we can, when we, when, not if, when we continue to do this work, um, it'll show. Sydney Gray, Action News 5. Now, we did reach out to the school board, and board member Keith Williams was not available for an interview, but told us the school did not meet its requirements to rejoin the district. We also asked the school leaders about feedback, and we're told the district wanted a contingency plan for a new building. And while Principal Blackburn and other school leaders say they do not want a new building, they will be working on those plans and adjusting their applications in hopes of partnering with MSCS in the future.